Hello, this is a small following up video on the element overview created previously. In this video I'll show you how we can use um, an element overview to create stamp drawings. First of all it's very important for me to uh, notice that the drawings being shown in this video uh, contains modular measurements so it's not the exact measurements of the component how they're produced. Um, I'll just jump to a not finalized version and this is what we ended up with in the previous video. The first thing we want to do is we would like to create uh, elevations and I'll start out with E1 and for that I'll go to my south view and see that I see everything. Um, so the first thing I want to do is I want to duplicate south. I want to rename it by pressing F2 and call it E1. I want to select everything but um, this element and I say hide all the elements here. I might also want to hide um, the grid lines and um, levels category. So now I actually have a drawing of my element E1. In a similar way I will go back and see my E2, that's the one with the window, so I might want to go to my northern facade. I might want to duplicate and call it E2. And again, I will deselect this one and I will hide elements um, and categories. And the same thing could be done with uh, element tree, E3 and E4. The next thing we could do is to uh, place them on a sheet. I'll just delete this um, and move this out of the drawing. Ah, let's go back and crop this. So it looks a little bit nicer, like this, and let's just delete this, and high crop region. I think that was a little bit better. And now I can drag in my different elevations. Like this, and now we more or less could uh, or have a start of what could be a, a stamp drawing. This could of course be combined with a schedule um, and used for uh, tendering for instance. Okay, thank you for listening. Goodbye.